This lady's going to have an ankle block. We're just doing some baseline observations, temperature, pulse and respiration, blood pressure sats. Once we're happy, once my ODP gives me the nod, like then we'll start well. and then we'll do an ankle block here. And then we'll give a um, uh, full ankle block for my patient too. Not her real name, let's call her Diane. Diane, Diane will do. Not your real name, is it Diane? Excellent. Hear the beep in the background? How's that looking, Scott? All good? 76 heart rate, nice exercise. We're just waiting for the cuff to inflate and deflate. So I'll just stop there while we wait for the baseline off, then we'll do the block. Are we playing? Mm. Awesome. This is going to be our surgical site. So the nerves we need to anesthetize for that tibial nerve coming around the back. I don't know if you can see that, Scott. So what we'll do, we just there'll be a little bit of motion capture on this. So we're just going to feel there's the artery there coming down at that point there. We're going to come in below that. She's already had skin prep, by the way. Saphenous. There's the saphenous vein coming in. We're going to go medial to that. On the top of the foot, this is the one that actually innervates the joint itself. And there's the dorsalis pedis artery. And the deep perineal nerve is lateral to that. And the last one we'll need to do is the superficial perineal, which in skinny patients like Di, you can normally see, you can't quite see it there, that's going to come down on the front of the foot. So we're going to do a wall of anesthesia on the top of the foot there. So those are the four nerves for that. The one we don't need to do is the sorrel because we're on the big toe. A little bit of a home brew. Uh, we will use 10 ml syringe, a bit of 2% lidocaine, and a bit of chiricaine. I like a bit of a mix. Cocktail. A little bit of a cocktail. You're coughing, Dark. You're all right. Do you know the best thing to stop your coughing, Di? Do you know what the best tablet to take is to stop coughing? Laxative. Yeah, you have to take it twice a day. You don't cough then. So that's 2% <laughs> lidocaine with. I'm assuming there's no going to be narrative oh, on this video. Yeah. The other is. There's, there's, there's volume. There's volume. So I put a little bit of lidocaine with. The, the, the lidocaine with makes it work quicker, lasts for longer. Caricane, my general anaesthetic of choice, 0.5%. It's the friendly version of Marcane. We just double check that we've got the right one. Mm -hmm. What sort of cocktail did you give to Dan? Preoperatively, it was like a mojito. It's very, very similar, yeah. Or Mojito, as it's actually been, been referred to. Mojito. mojito. Yeah. It's a soft G. Soft J, actually. And these safety needles, which of course are. <coughs> we love the safety needles, don't we, Scott? We do. We, oh, they're just our absolute so favourite thing. So safe. But they don't get in the way at all. Not at all. So, because this lady is a, is a private patient, we're going to take most of the air bubbles out first. That's, yeah, it's always <laughs> nice. Yeah. Try and prevent the aneurysms for the private patients. Yes. Um, we'll do the saphenous first. So, there's a saphenous vein, saphenous nerve, just medial two. Die a little scratch. Three, two, one, scratch. And we aspirate to that point. And little sting, sorry die. Little sting on the top, just a mill or two off. That's gonna do that one nicely. We'll come on the top, we'll do dorsalis pedis, lateral, which is deep perineal nerve, down, down to bone, scratch, sorry chucky egg, down to bone, we stay deep because it's a deep perineal nerve. Don't need to aspirate at this point because you're right by an artery. That anesthetic is going to go distally. Sometimes it's a little difficult injection to give because it's very tight underneath that fascia. Needing to be a bit persuasive there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You did so well not to swear on the live camera then, Thank, I'm thank I'm you. So impressed with Scratch. that. I felt that with you. Scratch. This one stings a little bit, it's just underneath the skin. So I normally do two passes at the front of the ankle. And that's going to do dorsal medial hallux. Well done, you. And then the last one, I'll rotate the foot round again. Tibial, there's our artery. We're going to come posterior lateral with the needle scratch. Three, two, one. And we're going to aim to become behind the artery. Very, very gently advancing the needle, not looking for needle paresthesia. Aspirate, nothing in there. Die a little sting as that goes in. Do you feel that? I normally put about five of the mix in there. 
and then that's going to take about 20 minutes to go so Scott and I are going to go outside have a coffee and we're going to come back when the patient's numb. Thanks sir. You were awesome. <laughs>